Okay, now I'm going to show you something that will save you a tons of work if you have a similar situation, which I know a lot of you have. Uh, let's say that you've been having a lot of meetings, uh, in my case, for the last six or 12 months, and I haven't updated them to our CRM or um, uh, the salespeople that's been having uh, appointment setters and everything hasn't been updating, but I've been having the meetings. So I've been having a lot of meetings. So now I want to send them a Christmas card, for example. So what do I need to do? Need, do I need to go back on all my emails, all my calendar, copy, paste and make a list? Or can I do like this? So <clears throat> what I've been used for this is that I use Claude to make the code itself. So here you can see it scans my calendar for the last six to 12 months find meeting attendees, filter out, uh, including my, our own domain, we don't need that, and, uh, and duplicated emails, guest companies, everyone that's uh, joining the meeting, and counts how many meeting I have with each person, and out of sort list, and so on. So I just want to show you how it looks. So it looks like this. So this is my calendar, I don't want to brag, but I'm quite busy. And for me to sit and do this will take me forever and I don't want to do that. So what I did is that I created an Excel, uh, Google Sheets like this. And this is in Norwegian, but you can navigate to extensions. I believe it's called in English to so press here and you go on app script. Here you need to go on services. You press services and, and then you come to a list looking like this and you choose to have uh, the calendar. As you can see, I already have it there, so it's active. So <clears throat> what I'm doing next is that I'm creating, I'm explaining what I need to do. I need to find all the meetings and stuff like this. Code uh, is generated by Claude itself. I copy it here, paste it in, and then I just run it. And that's it. And uh, you will have a full list here. You see the meeting counts. I'm trying to hide some of the names here and uh, yeah, so that you can not see. And uh, so there you have your list. So then you can just go in here. You can download the list, list in whatever format that makes you happy and import it to your newsletter. So uh, that's how you do this. It saves you tons of work. You don't need to be a developer at all. You just need to communicate in the, in the way what you need to have done and uh, copy paste. I will add this um, uh, script in the description. So uh, if you want, you can just modify from it. So you can just uh, use it and you can say like, okay, I don't want to have the last six months, but I want to use this template and I want to have the last three months or I want to have the last 12 months but I only want to have from this and this domain, uh, everyone that's been attending from that. Can you modify by using this template? Okay, I hope this helps you and uh, the best of luck.